What's up guys, welcome back to another Battleborn video. In this video I want to let you all know about the fourth free character to come to Battleborn, and that is Kid Ultra. So now that Ernest is out for early access, they've gone and they've shown off this picture of him, and they've given us a few details about him. Now unfortunately, like everyone wanted, he is not Nova in her suit. I know they teased that in the story, and everyone thought, well, this is definitely going to be an LLC character, because the other one definitely looks generic, or generic. So, everyone's like, this is going to be Nova, this is going to be Nova. I was convinced it was going to be Nova. Unfortunately, it's not. It's this this robot kid. Um, I am a little disappointed. I'm sure there are many of you who are probably a little disappointed as well, but that doesn't mean this guy isn't going to be great. That doesn't mean he's not going to fit into the universe well. He's probably going to be a stellar character like the other three they have released so far have been. But hopefully, you know, we can cross our fingers for Nova sometime in the future. They haven't really said if they're going to stop making these characters after 30. It's just that these five characters are going to be free. So, let's go ahead and talk about what he does a little bit. So he is LLC, of course, and he is apparently the pinnacle of support technology, buffing and healing teammates while subduing enemies. Now, this this could be pretty interesting. Is he going to be, like, as good of a healer as, like, Miko? Or is he going to be, like, on an Alani Ombra level, maybe? Who knows? Who really knows? The, the LLC don't really have a full-blown, like, support. Like, Khalees is sort of there, but he's not really, like, as supporty, especially with his heal there being nerfed literally into the ground and being virtually unusable right now. So hopefully this guy comes in, like, fills that role, and they just they just round off the LLC with a really solid support character. So, you know, I can, I can imagine one of his abilities is going to have to do with healing, one is going to deal with, like, boosting, and then, like, the ultimate... Who knows, maybe maybe he'll pull an Ana from Overwatch and heavily boost any character. Imagine like a heavily boosted Raph spin to winning you. Rip. Rip everything. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. There's not really a lot to go off of right now. Like he doesn't look like he's holding any weapons or anything like that. It's just you know, it's just him, his body. He kinda looks like a really bad Transformers toy. And by a really bad Transformers toy, I don't really mean he looks bad, it's just when a Transformers toy looks like this, it looks really bad because it's a Transformer. See, he, he isn't a Transformer, so he doesn't look all that bad. If that makes any sense whatsoever. He's probably gonna be a small little fella too. I'd imagine he'd be pretty small, like maybe like a Rendy sized. So, who knows? Who knows? That's really all the details they kinda kind of give about him. They don't really give mud. They of course, you know, say he's going to be available for 47,500 credits like any other character. Or you can get him with a hero key and whatnot. But yeah, they're going to talk about his like abilities and release date and stuff closer to release. So yeah, not, not a whole lot on him, but as we get closer, we will learn more and more. I'm sure they'll do like a stream about him and stuff like that and whatnot. One thing that my friend brought up, and I, I think this would be just absolutely great. I know a lot of people disagree with me. It's is if he has the, the voice actor that Pickle from the pre-sequel had. I loved Pickle so much. I know practically like almost everyone hated Pickle, but I love Pickle. I would love for this guy to have Pickle's voice actor and it would just annoy all my enemies into frustration. Maybe it'll make it so not everyone tries to pick him when he's released. Probably won't. But who knows? We'll, we'll see. We'll see with this guy. That That's pretty much it, though. I don't really want to ramble on about stuff with him for too, too long, but I really hope he is, like, a good, solid, like, support character, at least on the level of, like, Alani and Ombra. He doesn't have to heal people as much as Miko, and I don't think he will, because Miko literally is all about healing, while... Kid Alder is going to be about healing and boosting, so you know he's going to be applying buffs and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I really do think he's going to be on the Ombra Alani level, but that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to let you all know about him, bring him to your guys' attention so you guys can get hyped for him. And yeah, his design is growing on me more and more, even though he does look like a bad Transformers toy again. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank y'all for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye!